Hi, thanks so much for joining us today. Today we are going to talk about Feel Real, Top Deck's new brand position. So what have we been doing? We've basically been doing some research with our customers and our travel agents to make sure that we are on the right track in terms of our product and our offering so we can continue to grow our brand in the future. What we've done in the last six or so months is we've employed a research agency to do some surveys with our travel agents and focus groups as well as some secret shopping. We've done focus groups with customers in the US, the UK and Australia as well as our research company has gone on a few of our top deck trips to to see what all the fuss is about and what they've delivered back to us is the following. So research outcomes have been that group travel has a perception problem and probably in particular youth group travel. Group travel is seen as 18 year olds hooking up, always on the clock and no depth of connection. With group travel you see but you don't feel. Customers are seeking deeper travel experiences that are local and intimate that feel real and authentic. We know that travel is about going outside of your comfort zone, discovering the new and gaining new perspectives. When you travel, you get a conformity pass. You are who everyone expects you to be in your hometown. When you travel, you are more carefree, a better version of yourself. You can be a different person. Normal rules don't apply. So our biggest insight from the research is... Travel is my liberation from the rules of normal life. But travel has all the same BS you have at home. It's no longer an escape. There is a swing in Bali and everyone goes there to get their gram. I don't want their Instagram. I want my own. The research also concluded that for young travellers, dream travel is... Diverse, interesting, inspirational influences and the freedom from convention. So what does it mean to feel real? Meeting someone completely different but 100% the same. Finding the best bagels in the Jewish ghetto in Deciding Venice. you're not going home, you're going to become a trip leader. Falling in love with a local when you don't speak the lingo. Eating with the restaurant staff after hours. So what is Top Deck doing? So we are repositioning our brand to showcase our product as it truly is. Diverse, interesting, authentic and provides real depth of connection. Throughout our research and when our research agency went on our trips, one thing that became pretty clear from the get-go is that we actually already nail all of this. You know, if we have a look at the product that we offer, the, the feedback we get from our customers, our net promoter scores, which are above 70, sometimes even 100 for our trips, our FIFO score that sits at 4.6 out of 5, we are already providing customers with what they're after. We're just probably not doing a very good job of talking about it. So what we're doing is repositioning the way we look and feel and talk about Top Deck to help address the group travel perception problem. So what is a reposition? So, you know, by doing this, we aim to make the Top Deck product and group travel product overall easier to communicate and easier to sell. So how are we doing this? So currently right now, if you looked at one of our brochures or our Instagram or our website and you didn't know much about Top Deck or youth travel, you'd probably think it looks fairly artificial, especially looking at our Instagram. Um, you know, lots of stock travel in images. You know, there looks like the same rules from home and the perception problem is that group travel travels through destinations at breakneck speed so you don't feel or experience. So what we're doing is we're pivoting the way that we position the product so that we showcase how authentic we already are. We already provide deep cultural experiences that on our trips it's a diverse bunch of people and that they have the freedom to be themselves. 